If you're looking for an app that can provide quick and easy access to a web page without typing in a long, complicated URL, or to share a Google Doc, Sheet, or Slide which have very complicated web addresses, or to link to a video on the internet, then QR Reader by Scan might be the right app for you. Let's get started with the QR Reader app by tapping on that gray icon. It looks like a square barcode with a red scanner on it. Once we tap on that, it's going to activate the QR Reader, which activates our camera. So we'll want to make sure that the flap of our cover is out of the way of our camera on the back. And then you see we have this square target in the center of our screen. And what we want to do is line up that square target with the QR code barcode. And it's actually pretty sensitive. So once I get close to this top barcode, it automatically scans it and takes me to that web page. So right here to the personalized learning website. Um, you can see I can navigate this website. It's live. I didn't have to type in any long. URLs or tap on any links to get there. When I'm finished with this web page, I can tap that X in the top right corner of the screen to close this up. And again, I'm going to like line up my second barcode with that square target in the middle. And notice how sensitive it is. Once I get close to it, it's going to scan it, bring it into focus, and go immediately to that website. Now I'm on the resources for teachers page, which has tons of great resources. So I would really encourage you to visit this website. Again, once I'm finished with this website, I can tap that X in the top right corner of my screen to close it up. And now I can line up my QR code reader with that bottom one, and you'll see just how sensitive it is. Once, that, once it gets close to that, it brings us right to our professional development page, listing all of our current professional development offerings. All right. Um, other things I can do here at this web page, um, maybe I actually want to bookmark this page and keep it. So next to that X in the top right corner of the screen, you'll notice there's the share icon. So I can tap that share icon and I can actually open this up in Safari. So it's going to transfer that web page over to Safari. And once it's here in Safari, again now I can tap on the share icon and I could add a bookmark there at the bottom, or I could add a web clip by tapping on the Add to Home Screen icon. Either one of those will help me to get back to this website quickly in the future. For right now, I'm going to tap on the Add a Bookmark icon, and it's going to save it to my bookmarks. So I'm going to leave it with the same title, Professional Development, there. And then I'll tap on the word Save in the top right corner of that little pop-up and it's gone to my bookmark. So next time I want to look for this website, all I need to do is, let's say I'm on the home page of St. Paul Public Schools websites, and I want to get back to that professional development page. All I need to do is tap on that little book icon at the top of Safari there. It'll show me my bookmarks. I can swipe down to the bottom of that list and I'll notice that I see professional development there on that list. So I can tap on professional development and it brings me right back to that professional development page. If I tap the book icon, again, it will close up that little left panel and there I am on my website. So again, in my QR code reader, if I want to close it, I'll tap that X. And now I'm going to get a little bit further away from these QR codes so you can see that sometimes you do have to get a little closer to focus them. You might sometimes just display these on your LCD in the front of the room and students can focus on it pretty easily because it will be large. But here on the paper, I might have to get closer before this camera activates. Still does a great job there. I didn't have to get too close before it actually activated the QR code reader. There are a lot of fun ways to use QR codes in your classroom to help students to quickly get to resources on the internet to help them understand their work better. You might link them off to videos or tutorials or even websites that have information about what they're learning. Here's an example of how to use QR codes to link off to a video to give students background information or tutorial 
on long division as well as a written explanation of how to do the work. So you can see we have a few math problems here along the bottom and then we have two QR codes over there at the right. Once I line up those QR codes with that square target in the middle of my QR code reader, it's going to link me off to some resources. There we go. And so you can see it brings me to a Khan Academy video on an introduction to long division so that I can see that skill in action if I've forgotten how to do it which can then help me to go back and do the practice problems. All right, if I scan the other QR barcode there, see it brings me to a web page with some written explanations again on how to work through long division. So again, the idea being that I can give students some resources to help them if they've forgotten or they're struggling with these problems to look at the tutorial first and then go back and do the work or to do the work and then check out the tutorials to make sure that they've done it correctly. You can try out your QR code scanner on your iPad with these QR codes. So go ahead and start up your QR reader app and line up the square target in the QR reader app with the barcode in the center of the screen. This barcode should take you to the personalized learning homepage. Next, you can scan this QR code with your QR Reader app on your iPad. Again, line up the square in the center of your screen with the barcode on the screen, and this QR code should take you to the Teacher Resources section of the personalized learning website. And here's the third QR code. Go ahead and scan this with your QR Reader app on your iPad. Again, line up the square target in the center of the screen with this QR code. And this will take you to the professional development section of the personalized learning website so that you can see what professional development is currently available.